Hi, welcome back to runfaster.com.au. Most people think that if you want to run faster, you need to increase your leg speed, as in the speed that your legs turn over. But this is actually not true. In fact, running faster has got very little to do with increasing your leg speed, and research shows this. I'd like to do a little experiment with you today. You can do this at home as well. Um, I'm going to do it on the treadmill for simplicity, but you can do it uh, on a track or outdoors if you've got a GPS watch. So I'm going to run at a particular speed to start with. I've chosen 10k an hour, 10 kilometers an hour, and I'm going to record uh, my steps per minute. Then I'm going to increase that to 14 kilometers per hour, and I'll again record my steps per minute. So once we've done that, we'll get some figures and we'll discuss what they all mean. Okay. So when I was running at 10 k's an hour, my steps per minute were 164. When I increased my speed to 14 kilometers per an hour, that's a 40% increase, my steps per minute went up to 172. Now that's only a 5% increase in my leg speed or steps per minute, but it resulted in a 40% increase in my actual speed. How could that be? Well, it all comes down to the force you apply to the ground, and a concept called mass-specific force. Now most people don't know much about this concept, but it is a really important concept to grasp to improve your running. If you want to know more about mass-specific force, click on the link below. Bye for now, and enjoy your running.